welcome to Mouse Simple Meals. Happy fall everybody. Today I'm really excited because I want to do another experiment. I've only done this once years ago, but one of my favorite things to get at all the Chinese restaurants are pot stickers. Um, sometimes they're also known as dumplings and all sorts of other names, but they have a pork filling and I want to try to make them as simple and as easy as possible, but still delicious. So we're going to make pot stickers and then we're also going to do lo mein in the instant pot. So come on and join me. I've got some ground pork here that I'm just going to go ahead and put in my nonstick frying pan. I want to show you guys just this absolutely massive bok choy cabbage that I have. So this is how it came from the grocery store. So the base is as big as my hand and this thing is just absolutely huge and I'm only going to use probably one stalk of it so I'll have to come up with some more dishes that involve this cabbage. So I'll go ahead and get this chopped up. Now that I have it rough chopped, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my pull and chop here just because I don't really want any big pieces of the cabbage. I want it to be pretty fine. So that also started to get some of that moisture going. And with these pot stickers, it's going to be just really key that we get everything really dry so that they can brown up nicely on the bottom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some salt in here and let this sit for a bit and try to get some more of that water out. We're also going to use some green onion in a few different parts of this meal. So I'm going to go ahead and chop some of these up. And we're going to be using both the white part and the green part. And one of the most recent things that I've been doing, because I just love green onion and I use it a lot, is I've been really happy with how just regular kitchen shears or whatever scissors I have for the kitchen. And I can just easily snip the green onions. And I don't even have to really worry about so chopping here's our them. cabbage that's been sitting and you can just see how much water is coming off of this. So now I'm going to take a paper towel and scoop it up and try to squeeze as much water as I can out. So I've added my drained cabbage back into the pork. I'm just going to cook that a little bit. I'm also going to add just a small handful of some of the chopped green onions that I tried to chop pretty fine. I have some low sodium soy sauce and I'm just going to add a little bit of that. I really don't want to add too much because I really want to keep this as dry as possible. Just a little bit to flavor it. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch. So when a lot of people make these, they actually don't cook the filling first, but I just have some idea that I would be pretty paranoid to make sure that the pork was all done in the short amount of cooking time that we'll have. So I want to cook everything first. Alright, so I'll go ahead and turn off that heat and we'll let this cool down a little bit. While our filling is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the lo mein. And I have my three quart instant pot here that I'm going to be cooking the noodles in. And a lot of people are going to say, why don't you just do the noodles on the stove? 
But I love this for so many reasons because one, I don't have to babysit it at all. And the other thing that I'm going to show you, so I'll put the noodles in here. I just have some regular spaghetti noodles that I've cut in half. So this is about three quarters of a box of spaghetti. And then what I'm going to do is I have some beef broth here and I'm going to use that as my liquid. And I want to make sure that I pour enough liquid to cover my noodles, but not much more than that. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I'm also going to add a little dash of oil. And I do anticipate these noodles kind of sticking together, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to go ahead and put my lid on and make sure it's in the sealing position. I'm going to hit pressure cook and I'll do six minutes. So here's the secret to making these easy. I found these wonton wraps at the store. They're right next to the egg roll wrappers. And so these aren't going to be traditional dumplings made with homemade dough. And there's absolutely tons of fabulous recipes for that out there, but that would not be simple. It involves a lot of kneading and letting it rise and all that kind of stuff. So this is Mel Simple Meals. and. So we're just going to say we don't have time for that and we're going to use these wonton wraps. There's a couple of differences here that are important. The first one is that these wonton wraps are square. When you make these dumplings you want to have a round shape in order to be folding them up and having them in the half moon traditional shape. So what you can do is you can take a cookie cutter or I just have um, the beef broth can that we used and I washed the top of it really good and then I can just use that as my guide and I have my pizza cutter here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make somewhat of a circular shape here and you don't have to do this by any means you could absolutely absolutely use them square and um, have them be whatever shape that you want. And the other thing that you'll notice is these are actually going to be smaller than pot sticker wraps would normally be, but they also kind of have a thickness to them on their edges, and so you're not going to be able to do that really nice pleating like you see with regular pot stickers because there's not enough here and it's also a little bit of a different consistency. So once you have the wrap ready to go, you're just going to take some of your filling and this is the key part here and I have a really hard time with not overfilling them. We'll see if that's even too much. And then I have a cornstarch water slurry here. I'm just going to dip my finger in and put around the edges. Then all you need to do is fold it in the middle and then pinch together all of the sides. stickers all made up. Um, I just did enough to fit this plate so far and one pound of ground pork will make a ton of these little guys. So I'm going to set these off to the side and we're going to keep working on that lo mein. What I absolutely love is I did not drain these. So all of that beef broth that you guys saw 
it was completely absorbed into the noodles. And I tried one of these noodles and they don't need sauce, they don't need anything. They have so much flavor. finished product guys we have the lo mein and our pot stickers and I just feel like these turn out absolutely perfect you have the nice brown crispy side and then from the steam they're nice and soft on one side I just think they turned out perfectly so one of my favorite things about pot stickers is actually the sauce that comes with them and I've been searching for years for the perfect recipe for pot sticker sauce. So if any of you guys know what it is, please let me know in the comments below. I think I've got pretty close today, so I'm going to put a little bit of sauce on that I created. And I'll let you guys know what I did in the description below. So I'm just going to put some sauce on. It's a combination of soy sauce, sugar, rice wine vinegar, but I'm always just a little bit short of whatever it is they do in the restaurants. All right, so I'm gonna give one of these a try. Don't mind my terrible chopstick skills. That is so good. Just like I said, the texture is crispy and soft. I just love both of those and then the flavor it's so good when I do this again I think I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning to the meat itself maybe some garlic and a little bit of extra salt but it's almost perfect and I can't believe I made these at home all right so here's the lo mein got all those vegetables That has such a good flavor. It's sweet and savory all at the same time. It's one of my absolute favorites. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys will give this a try at home so you can see how simple something that you'd get at a restaurant would be to make at home. If you liked it, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.